guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my everyday simple makeup routine. You guys have been asking for this video for a while now and I am really excited to be doing this today because I am collaborating with a very sweet YouTube friend. Her name is April. You guys probably already watch her channel. Um, she's a big time beauty guru. So I am very honored that she is collaborating with me on this kind of mommy makeup routine video today. Um, she is a mommy as well. She has two two little boys that are so flippin' adorable. Oh my gosh, so adorable. Um, and I just love her. And if by some strange chance you are not already watching her channel, you should definitely go over and check her out. Um, I will leave her channel link down below in the description box. She will bring you joy. I love to share YouTubers with you guys that um, make me happy and bring me joy and that I truly enjoy watching and April is one of those. I never leave her channel without a smile on my face. She is just bubbly and sweet. I just think she's such like a ray of sunshine and so I know you guys will love her too. So be sure to hop over there and check out her channel if you're not already subscribed. And then this video today, like I said, is going to be my everyday simple makeup routine. You guys have asked me a lot recently for hair videos, makeup videos, things like that. So I wanted to kind of start off and give you this one. Um, yes, I do do my makeup about 75% of the time. That sometimes shocks people. Um, being a mom of seven and being home with my kids a lot during the day, people are always a bit surprised. But I do. I do my makeup every day, pretty much every day. And... Um, I do it for me. I do it because I love makeup. It is something that I have enjoyed since I was about 12 years old. So I don't do it for anybody else. I do it for me. And it always kind of makes me laugh when people are like, oh, well, you must do that for your husband or you must do it for, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just, I don't. I do it for me. I love makeup. So this routine takes me all of about five minutes when I'm not filming it. Uh, so yeah, it's not super in-depth. It's not super difficult. It's a very quick, easy look, but it works for me on a daily basis. If you guys would like to see other looks, like if you want to see maybe a fall type look, definitely let me know. Um, I think I'm going to do a hair routine video for you guys. You've been asking a lot about that and some of my favorite hairstyles, go-to hairstyles, because I do only wash my hair about twice a week. So I stretch out that clean hair as long as I can and I've got some fun tips for you guys about that so that video will be coming up but for now we are jumping into the everyday simple makeup look all the products will be linked down below in the description box so easy to find if there's anything I'm using that you're interested in it will all be linked down below in the description box so yeah let's jump right into the video Okay, so I've already done all of my skincare and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. You can let me know if you would like to see like a full skincare routine video. I can definitely do that. But just quickly, all that I have on my skin right now is some of the Clinique Moisture Surge. I am pretty obsessed with Clinique products, especially skincare. I really like their foundations you're gonna see. So I feel like they don't get enough love and Clinique makes some really amazing products. And then I also have used their All About Eyes Serum. So those are the two things I have kind of already on my skin right now and a little bit of um, the Too Faced lip injection. So I have super dry skin and postpartum my dry skin has just gotten like out of control. So I have been using this Bare Minerals Good Hydrations Silky Face Primer and this is a hydrating primer. So I have really been liking this. I am a um, somewhat skeptic when it comes to primers. I don't know that I think they actually do what they're supposed to do most of the time or what they claim to do. But um, this one definitely makes my skin feel hydrated which is really important before I put on my makeup because like I said my skin is very dry and I don't want it like flaking so I will kind of even um, press it into the skin not just rub it but like press it you know really get the hydration jujus going in there so I'm gonna let that set for just a second and I have a few different foundations that I really like to use but this is my simple everyday routine so I almost always on an everyday basis go for the Clinique um, it's called the acne solutions BB cream I don't have an acne problem I don't even think this has salicylic acid in it it is a very thin watery formula that I personally think think gives a really beautiful coverage and for me it is comparable to my very favorite foundation of all time which is the Dior Air Flash this stuff 
is stupid expensive, stupid expensive. So I usually get one bottle a year for my birthday when I get my Nordstrom gift card. Um, but like I said, it's expensive, so I don't like to use it a ton. But I feel as though this gives me a very similar finish. So I use it with a beauty blender. Love it. I shake it. Gotta love a makeup product that sounds like you're about to spray paint your face with an aerosol can. Put a little bit on there. The next thing I do, again, everybody does these things in different orders, um, but this is just what I like to do, is I just run the spoolie through my brows and then I am using the Anastasia, Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is in soft brown and I just um, kind, of, kind of touch up my eyebrows here, fill in the holes. Okay, then what I usually do is just grab something because I have very veiny eyelids and my foundation just isn't quite enough for me to kind of get, make those look less veiny and I have barely any of this left but this is the Tarte CC I don't even remember exactly what it's called but it's just like a corrector so just run that over here at the top of my eyelids again when I'm not talking I can do this routine pretty fast this does not take me long at all okay. then I jump right into eyeshadow and this is the palette that I use every single day this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette you will see my fave colors um, this palette has some really amazing colors in it. Very good neutral colors. You can, I can create any look I want with this. Smoky, simple, so many looks you can create with this palette. I think this is an amazing palette. Um, so I am just going to take a fluffy brush. This one is from um, Target actually. It's from the Sony Kashuk line. And I'm gonna take that and just rub it in this lightest color here called Charmer. And I usually just wash that kind of all over my lid. Again, this is my simple look. Um, I do lots of different looks, smoky looks, things like that all the time, but this is just my go-to simple. Um, if I don't wanna think about it, this is the makeup that I, that I do. And then, to be honest, I usually just take my finger and go into the shimmery shade here in the bottom called Funny Girl and just put that right over my lid. It is kind of a gold champagne-y shimmery color um it doesn't have like crazy chunks of glitter i mean we're not going like it's not crazy okay yeah so i go into this kind of mid-tone brown shade called smarty pants with that same fluffy brush and just kind of run it really quickly through my crease Very simple, very everyday, nothing crazy. Then the next thing I do is go in with a black liquid eyeliner. This is my, this is my calling card. I mean, I wear black liquid eyeliner almost every day. And one of my very favorite ones, this is a drugstore version. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous. This is from their um, Feline Noir line. And I really like this. I'm almost out of it, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough here to actually use this today. So I might have to use a different one. Let me just give you an indication. That is my drawer for eyeliners, okay? So I have many to choose from here. <laughs> this is my favorite one. I just reached in and grabbed a different one because that one is almost out. This is one I got in like an Ipsy or a Birch Box. It's by Star Looks. Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen in Black. I mean, my only rules are that it is a black, as black as I can get, liquid liner. And I don't like paintbrush style. I like like the felt tip pen type style liners. So, there you go. And I just make an ever so slight wing. Y'all know some days that wing gets crazy on you. And then my favorite mascara is the Benefit Roller Lash. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, I have been using, one of my subscribers sent me some of the Rodan and Fields, um, and I don't curl my lashes or anything, I just go straight in with mascara on a quick, everyday basis. Um, but she sent me the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, and I have been using that for about two weeks now, so I will let y'all know 
um, in a few more weeks what I think of it and if I feel like it's working and all of that stuff. But I am using that in conjunction. Okay, again, for the ease of every day, I like to simplify by not having as many steps. Really love these two products. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. They are the contour wand and the beauty light wand. And so I will use this contour wand and then use a sponge. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So is this highlight. I am gonna use a little bit of this highlight today. And because it is a cream product, I go ahead and put it on before I put any powder on. And then I will go in with another highlighter over top to kind of set it. But I just dot this right here. And here, I don't know how much of you can see that, but it is beautiful. And then I take my beauty blender and just dab it in. And again, for me, with really dry skin, also aging skin, I'm getting older. And so, yeah, I like, I love cream products. Okay, so then I'm gonna jump in, and like I said, I like to do two-in-one kind of stuff. So I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and it's just a big, fluffy Real Techniques brush. I swirl it around, and this does my contour and bronzing all in one. Um, I just kind of keep it high on the cheekbones here, and around. And for me, this takes the place of doing a separate contour and bronze on a daily basis. Okay, and then I grab a quick blush. I have many, many, many that I use. It. That I will change depending on kind of what I'm wearing. But today I'm just going to, I want my face to look nice and fresh and awake, so I'm gonna use the, um, the Balm In Stain, and this color is Argyle. It is a very pinkity pink, pink, pink. And then I will take like a stippling brush like this. I think this is a, this is either an e.l.f. or an NYC brush. Very cheap. Stipple. You guys, in all this talking, I forgot to do my concealer. I always do my concealer before I do any of those face products, so this should be interesting. We're just gonna hop over to concealer real quick because this is real life and I ain't refilming it. I use the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. This is the brightening shade. It's not like the light shade medium. It's called the brightening shade. It's very pink. And I just run that under and through that inside portion of my eye right there that gets kind of a bluish tint, just like that. And then I take a couple of dabs of the Too Faced Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer, and my shade is Fair. And I just take a couple little dabs of that, and I will also usually put this right here because I have some um, like hormonal hyperpigmentation redness around my nose. Again, normally I would do that before I did all this, but. Okay, so I've done my blush, I've done my bronzer, inadvertently, did those a little early, but whatever. And then, um, like I said, I already do have the cream highlight on, but I will, I will put a powder over that. One of my very favorites, this is again from The Balm, this is the Mary Lou, Mani it's the Mary Lou Manizer, but I call it very quickly the Mary Luminizer. Uh, this is a beautiful highlight. This again came in like an Ipsy bag or something, it's called the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. Just exactly that tapered brush. Take that, just run it right over the very tops of my cheeks. Sometimes I'll kind of go just a little down here and a little on the tip of my nose. Which I know is not everybody's cup of tea, but don't do it if you don't like it. That's what I gotta say about that. All right, so that's everything except for lips. I have two lipsticks that I wear on the daily. One of them is a drugstore lipstick. It is the Burt's Bees 501 in the shade Blush. Just a really pretty pink, um, kind of a nudie pink, but it's a good color for me and my skin tone. And then the other one that I wear a lot, and whenever I wear this lipstick, I get asked about it. It's the Urban Decay um, Sheer Lipstick in the shade Morning After. So I think I will wear that one today. And again, on a daily basis, I don't line my lips or anything, I just, throw it on. 
So this is it, you guys. This is my very simple everyday makeup look. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I've been asked a lot about this, so hopefully, this was something y'all enjoyed and you can definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more videos like this give me a thumbs up and let me know don't forget to hop over to april's channel i know you guys will love her too so hop over there and check out her video <laughs> and subscribe to her if you are not already all right you guys that is everything i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you'll have an awesome day and an awesome rest of your week and i will see you guys again soon bye